This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. They want to play, put them on line flexer. Say that we talk, and I ain't even message her. On a deep bar, that's what she looking perfect. Before Cap G made it onto the 2017 XXL freshman class list. I wanna give me a rave, I wanna give me a rave. I wanna give me a rave, I wanna give me a rave. I wanna give me a rave, I wanna give me a rave. Before he dropped the L Southside mixtape, his debut studio album, Super Hefe, and tracks like Rings, Like El Chapo, La Policia, and Girlfriend. I think that I'm done with your girlfriend. I, I just smoked the blood with your girlfriend. Before working with the likes of Pharrell Williams, Wiz Khalifa, T.I., Jeezy, YFN Lucci, Young Thug, and Chief Keef. Jesse posted on the block like he poked us out. Train got me leaning sideways, I'm on that pole. Okay. The child of Mexican immigrants, Cap G grew up in the predominantly black trap music mecca of College Park. He went to the same high school as Outkast's Big Boy and Andre 3000. He got his big break with a collaboration with Chief Keef, which would eventually lead to scoring a management deal with an industry in Insider and a deal with a major label. But he probably would have never gotten Chief Keef to feature on a song if it weren't for a haircut his brother decided to get while on a trip to Chicago. What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCrudden and we are doing the life and career of Cap G prior to fame here for you on Before They're Famous. Now you guys requested this video like a whole bunch of you. You found me on Twitter, you found me on Instagram and you just kept asking for it. So I hope you enjoy. We've also covered a bunch of other double XL freshmen, like Made in Tokyo. No, actually, we have to do that. So let us know if that's the next one down below. We've done it on Amine, um, A Boogie with the Hoodie, and a bunch more. Triple X, of course. All right, let's let's just get into it. I'm just trying to get to know you girl. You fail to believe that I'm by cash, so let me show you that. Cap G was born George Ramirez on July 31st, 1994 in Long Beach, California, the youngest of seven children. His parents are Mexican immigrants who arrived to the States in the late 1980s after leaving the small city of San Marcos just an hour from Al Capoco. One of his older brothers joined a gang while he was still in grammar school, prompting his parents to move the family out to Long Beach. They resettled in the College Park suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia, which just so happened to be the old stomping grounds of numerous other hip hop stars like 2 Chainz, Ludacris, Chris and Rich the Kid. College Park, GA, Southside to be exact. George's mom worked as a hotel maid while his father did construction and drove trailer trucks. His older brothers would wake up at 4 a.m. to work in warehouses, and Cap G realized he wanted another kind of life. So Cap G decided to dedicate himself to something that would allow him to go from rags to riches. And we're talking about basketball. He played on the school team while attending Tri-Cities High School but didn't get much time on the court. Realizing that his hoop dreams weren't likely to pan out, he switched to rap in the 10th grade. George developed his skills freestyling over the instrumentals of artists like Gucci Mane and Young LA. At first he was rapping as part of a group called Kids at Play or KAP. Around this time he was going by the name Little G. Eventually he decided to go solo and to pay homage to homies, changed his name to Cap G. He put together a song called Tatted Like Amigos, which would become his debut single and feature Chief Keef. So how did Cap G book a major star like Chief Keef for his debut single? Well, that song would be released back in 2012. At the time, Chief Keef was just about to blow up, but was still on the come up with just two mixtapes behind him. He was pretty much unknown outside of Chicago while on a trip to that city when a Cap G's brothers heard Chief Keef's music at a local barber shop. He then tracked down the artist and played him an early version of Tatted Like Amigos. After hearing it, Chief Keef agreed to record a guest verse. The song then made it into the hands of Atlanta-based record executive Kawan Prather. Kawan had 
once been a part of the rap trio called PA, which was part of the first generation of Dungeon Family. From there, he went on to nurture the early careers of Outkast, TI, and Yellow Wolf. He would become Cap G's manager and help to land him a deal with Atlantic just after he graduated high school. In 2013, Cap G put out another non album single, Jose Got Them Tacos, this time getting Jeezy to feature. He said, I need a blood, no iPhone no. charger. Hey, I got trust hey. issues, man. You probably hey. with the hey. Hey. A string of mixtapes would follow in 2014 Real Migo Shit, Real Migo Shit 2, and Like a Mexican. The last one was actually personally produced by Pharrell Williams, who would go on to dub Cap G the future, according to Cap G. When me and Pharrell first got in the studio, you know, the energy was just there. We just made magic. While working on the mixtape, one night he left the studio at 4 a.m. He got pulled over by a cop who Cap G states was abusing his power. Frustrated by the experience, he went back into the studio and the next day he recorded the song Fuck La Policia. Thank I work at Chop Shops, now this ain't a hot box. Is it cause I'm Mexican? Yeah, on some young amigo shit. Trying to search in my whips, trying to find some fucking bricks. In 2015, Cap G was nominated for the XXL freshman class, but despite being featured in many of their articles, he didn't make the cut. He did, however, make the cut of a film called Dope, in which he makes a cameo as a character called Fidel. And he was also featured on the movie soundtrack. I have to ask if you were channeling anyone in particular or? Um, I actually was. I was channeling myself. That same year, he released Migo Work and Real Migo Shit 3, as well as the single Like El Chapo, featuring Cash Out. My vato's dancing with the arm and hammer like Uncle Hammer. Cruising in their black and white ghost, yeah, that's Danny Fan. <laughs> this song would become the lead single on his upcoming project, El Southside, and the mixtape would also feature guest appearances from the likes of Young Thug and YFN Lucci. Also, it would have the single Girlfriend. Shouting, you gon' have to show the fuck. And I might come ballin' like I'm Stephen Curry, Spade Jam, Bill Murray, Munchies, Oreo, and Flurry. On April 14, 2017, Cap G released his debut studio album, Super Hefe, with guest appearances from Chris Brown, Day Day, and Pharrell. Also, the lead single, Rings. I like Bill Russell up on the court. I just only want hit nothing more. Want a bad bitch who dress in Dior. Who drink Cohen, yeah, just like Lior. Just a couple months after releasing this album, Cap G finally got to be a part of the XXL freshman class. Hey, what's up? It's Cap G, and I'm a 2017 XXL freshman. In an interview about making the list, Cap G stated, when I found out I was going to be a freshman, I started thinking about how big it's going to be. Not just for myself, but for my culture, for my people. It's a big accomplishment. It's like we got one for the team. As for the rest of the story, well, you guys know the story because this is Before They're Famous. My name is Mike McCrad. Thanks for checking out this video. To watch more, we have two more down below. Also, hit me up with your requests on who you want me to document in a future video. We'll be sure to get that done. All right, see you guys, you know, in the next one. All right, bye. Boom, baby! You think La Policia was gonna get me, bro, but it did not! It didn't! Ugh.